hello farmers and welcome back into our youtube channel and happy new year 2023 in this new year i know one of the uh, new year resolutions that a poultry farmer is having is how are you going to increase the profits in your farm or how are you going to boost the sales in your farm in today's video i am going to discuss about the market strategies that you can use as a poultry farmer in this year so that you can be able to boost your sales and increase the profits from your farm you see producing quality products is one thing and uh, being able to sell properly so that you can be able to acquire good profits is another thing therefore stick with me throughout the video so that you can be able to understand how you can incorporate these strategies in your poultry farm so that you can be able to get the profits before we get into this marketing strategies make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notification so that you can be notified whenever we post a new video also if you like this video make sure that you hit the like button and leave a comment in the comment section below at the core of the values of a good salesperson is their ability to sell and for you to be a good salesperson when it comes to selling the poultry products you must be able to understand your market therefore the first thing that you are going to do is to carry out a market survey in this market survey you should be able to understand the state of the market of the products that you want to sell in your target area another thing is to identify the competitors you must understand how what prices are they selling their products at if it's the eggs if it's the meat what uh, are the prices that they are selling at so that now you can be able to set your own prices that are cons uh, that are customer friendly another thing to put into consideration when it comes to market survey is who are your customers make sure that you know how many hotels are there in your area uh, how many restaurants how long is the distance from where your farm is located to where these uh, consumers are that is the hotels and also the restaurants also you can identify the schools because you can also be supplying the eggs uh, to the schools the second thing is to know the demand cycle of the product that you are selling you should be able to identify the peak sale periods for the eggs and also for the meat the demand are always increased during the holidays during the christmas holidays the new year holidays the valentine's also there is the easter holidays the ramadan all these peak demand periods are the times that you don't want to, to lack stock you must have enough stock because at these periods you can be able to raise your price a bit and people will always pay uh, that extra cost because the demand is high for example in broiler farming you must make sure that your broilers are maturing at around these stages or at around these periods so that uh, you can be able to take advantage of the demand number three marketing strategy is use your network to your advantage advantage someone said that your network is usually your network therefore you must move, make your business known let those family members know that you are, you are selling this product introduce your uh, your product and your business to the uh, to your friends introduce it to the relatives to neighbors and also to your workmates make sure that your business is known make those calls uh, to potential customers the first thing is to make people know that you have this product and you are selling it the other market strategy that a poultry farmer can use to improve his or her sales is by taking advantage of the social media the social media has become one of the cheapest and effective advertising platform what you need to do is take photos and record good videos make sure that they are a bit professional make sure that you have a good camera and a good audio if it's uh, for the videos then you're going to post this in whatsapp statuses whatsapp groups uh, post them into you know the facebook groups make sure that you take advantage of all the social media platforms so that you can be able to have uh, to acquire more customers the biggest warning here is to be cautious uh, about the scammers because many poultry farmers have been scammed make sure that you are not scammed or you are not conned uh, by these scammers that are stealing from people online and the other thing is to bank on good quality products 
shortcuts are always wrong cuts therefore make sure that you use the quality feeds make sure that uh, the place where you are keeping your birds is clean make sure that you produce good quality eggs and meat because the most important thing is to win the trust of the customer and if you can be able to win the customers this will make your the customers come to buy again from you and the good thing about selling online is that you can be able to get the customer feedback directly uh, because after selling through other whatsapp or through the um, facebook groups or even through you a, a website you can be able to tell the farmers to give you the feedback after they consume maybe the eggs or even the meat and this customer feedback is going to help you to improve the quality of your product and the other thing is about convenience delivery and customers are very attracted uh, they get attracted to you know someone who is going to deliver to deliver the product on time and they can even pay an extra cost for this therefore if you are offering door-to-door -door services uh, which is the case for the uh, you know for the online marketing or selling your products online therefore make sure that the um, the customer gets their product on time and this is also another way to win their trust and the other thing to put in consideration is the price affordability price affordability is also uh, based on the target market who are you selling your products to you should be able to know what price are you going to sell to your day-to-day -day customers uh, to, to the hotels and also to the restaurants you must be able to come to come up with an affordable price uh, the other part of the marketing strategy that can help you to boost your sales is to differentiate your product by innovating it and adding value uh, this is going to you know to make it distinct from the other products in the market uh, you can make your products uh, stand out that is by you know making sure that they have a good packaging uh laboring and also the branding invest in value addition for example you can uh, present your meat products differently uh, for example as boneless or marinated just make sure that you add some value in your product so that you can be able to attract more customers uh, with the, 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 the advantage uh, with value addition is that you can be able to move prices of your product to your advantage make sure that you hit at the video on your screen right now so that you can be able to know the things to consider before starting a successful farm in a successful poultry farm in 2023